Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this algebraic problem. So we have the square root of negative 5 times the square root of negative 5. And many people actually get this simple problem wrong. So what many people do is they see square root of negative 5 times the square root of negative 5, and then they simply just multiply negative 5 with negative 5 in the radical. So they go the square root of negative 5 times the square root of negative 5, and negative 5 times negative 5 is 25. So this would be the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So many people think that 5 is the right answer. However, this is wrong. So the right method is to first rewrite the square root of negative 5 as the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 5. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. So this times the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 5. Now, if you guys know what i is, it's the imaginary number, and it is equal to the square root of negative 1. So now I'm going to replace all these square root of negative ones with i. So now I have i times the square root of 5 times i times the square root of 5. So now we can multiply both i's, so I get i squared times the square root of 5 times 5. Now, i squared, well, i is equal to the square root of negative 1, so i squared would equal negative 1. And I'm multiplying this with the square root of 5 times 5 is simply just 5. So now I have negative 1 times 5, which is equal to negative 5. So negative 5 is our answer. <laughs> 